In my last video, I showed you how to use this program called Lego Digital Designer. The opening. Um, in that one, I showed you how to use a person, make a person. Um, but I'm gonna show you how to make a building like this one right here. Um, so I'm gonna go to new. And I'm gonna go to free build. First of all, we're gonna need to go to the Lego bricks. Some other stuff you can put in it is over here, but I'm just gonna show you how to make a brick building, just like brick building. So first we're gonna grab a piece and zoom out. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Now I'm gonna get I'm gonna bring this up real fast. I'm gonna grab the copy tool and I'm gonna zoom in. This process doesn't take too long. Um because all you do is copy exactly what you have. I messed up edit, undo, edit, undo. And sometimes whenever you edit, undo, it turns off your copier, so you just have to go back and recopy it. Yeah. Whoops. Okay. I'm gonna drag this over to the corner. This getting it assembled sometimes takes a while, but the actual process doesn't like See, this is taking a little while. See, now, oops. I didn't do. It's going to copy all that. Um, in the last video, I don't remember if I showed you exactly how to um, rotate if you hit this button it rotates um, the the this the 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 bottom corner like right right there the bottom square um, the the corner right there um, if you uh, that corner ro rotates clockwise. The whole board rotates counterclockwise. And then this way it rotates clockwise. First. And then if you hit these arrow keys, you can rotate your pieces like this. Um. Ah, sweet. This time, well, whenever I was recording my other video with making the people, I'm I did have a part that I made a building, but I kept messing up in it, and so I just thought I would to completely redo this. So, it. Uh, I think I think that was a pretty good idea, don't you? Cause if you watch this video and then you watch the other video, I'm wearing different stuff in it. Like I'm wearing different clothes, so you can tell I'm di recording this at a different time.
so keep going. <laughs> Takes a little while, but it's worth it. Yeah, this sometimes just can get a little annoying, but my computer's running slow today. Um, if you have a Windows, this program has a Windows edition. Um, it's very useful, the whole program, because I don't just have a Mac. I have a Windows and a Mac, so I have both these. I have this program on a Mac and Windows. So there's this. Okay, so okay. Now that we have this whole so thing selected, let's go to the paint. Oops. Let's go to the paint tool. Um, and I made a mistake. You can change the brick color. Like I can change that. So I'm gonna make this a big window. Zoom in a little bit. So anyway, you get the point um, of, of how to change bricks. So, and then you can add it, undo to undo whatever you did. That's what I'm doing right there. See it. So anyway, um, now I'm gonna um show you um show you the the project that I made before this and it's much much bigger and so that project is much much bigger and what I'm going to do requires something with a whole bunch of pieces and that's really big so I'm going to load this one right here that I showed you and I'm also going to do that other one that's there and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to go to view mode like the other video I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Um, I'm gonna so do it so you can see down at it, and then I'm gonna show you up at it. Now I am going to make it dead on. Now I am going to explode it. You see that? Look at all the pieces. You can see the pieces, and then you can zoom back out as it begins to reform. I'm gonna be quiet from now on, okay? Until I'm done showing you this part. my grandpa so yeah that's it um, I'll be making some more Mac tutorials and bye